Hi Sleekers, Flick here from Sleek Valley Fitness and today I wanted to use my 20 years as a professional dancer to bring you some insight into opening your hips. So quite often because we work in turnout as dancers and here at Sleek, people want to know how they can get the maximum range of hip mobility for their workouts. So these are a few simple exercises that you can do before your Sleek workouts. Um, that will really make you feel your hips are open and supple and your joints are feeling good. So we're going to start by sitting in a frog position and I'm going to use the wall to help me here. So you can get your wall behind you so your tailbone is close and just draw your heels in towards you and you literally are making that feeling of frog's legs. So the knees are relaxing down to the floor, you're not forcing them. The soles of the feet together, try not to draw the big toes up to sickle the feet. Press down through the little toes, open up through your spine and just gently rest your hands onto the insides of the squishy parts of your knees. Once you've got that alignment, you're going to interlace the fingers, draw the knees up and press the elbows onto the insides of that squishy part, the same part you've just rested your hands. Now from here, we're going to start to apply a little bit of resistance. So the knees are going to draw up and the elbows are going to press back out. And we're going to hold this for a count of eight, seven, six, five. So putting the muscles into flexion here on the inside thighs, muscles that support around that hip joint. Now, as you breathe out, release those legs down. And again, you can slide your hands down onto the squishy parts of the inside of your knees and just feel those knees start to get a little closer to the floor. The hips start to relax. Breathe in, breathe out. No pushing into pain. Second set, draw the knees in, interlace the fingers, elbows come onto the insides of those knees and start to wake up the inside thighs. Lift up nice and tall and resist for eight, seven. You might get a slight, slight feeling of trembling, so a slight shaky sensation. Three, two, and one. And breathe out and gently guide those knees down. You could repeat that up to four times and you'll find by the third or fourth set, you really do have more length and opening into those inside thighs and the knees will be touching the floor a little more succinctly, okay? So then draw those knees back in, just release those heels out, and just give your knees a little bit of a hug. And then let's move on, back onto my mat, to a half split. So again, opening through the thighs, we want the knee down towards the floor and this knee pointing up towards the ceiling. Sit up tall, float the arms to second position, and then slide the hand down the inside of your calf and take this second arm overhead to fifth, opening up through the shoulder. Lengthening up through the side of the body, we're again opening into the inside thigh. Pour the bar the arm down, and now let's open across the front of the hips and the pelvis. Sweep the arm up, past your fifth position, comrade back, and now we're lengthening across this hip flexor into the psoas on the second side. Lower your bottom down, pour the bar comes up and over. Keep this moving. Lift up, hand to the floor, pour the bar and take the arm back. Sink your bottom to the mat and draw the soles of your feet together and find that frog position, but this time no wall behind you. You're going to pyramid your fingers behind you, open across your shoulders, lift your breastbone towards the ceiling, pull your tummy in. As you open up through those shoulders, feel a slight comrade or a back bend or a tiny arch into the upper spine. Now gently ease your knees down to the floor and if this is enough for you, stay here or start to lift and float your bottom, your hips come into the air, press into those fingertips behind you and lower down. Take that second leg out and find that half splits on the second side. Sit up tall, draw your tummy in, hand comes up and over and we start with the side bend, lengthening down this inside thigh, opening up through the outside of the rib cage on the second side. Pour de bras, let's work those hips, so press the pelvis up and forward towards me. Arm goes back, slight back bend. Hand release down. Take the arm up and over, keep this fluid. And draw back up. Hand to the floor, pour de bras, lift those hips. And all the way back down. This time, our deepest frog opening. Draw your leg together, come into all fours. And again, engaging through your core, roll your shoulders down your back, I want you to touch your toes. Separate your knees as wide as the mat, and maybe they'll go a little bit wider. 
So again, no pushing into pain. Start to rock your body forward, taking some weight into the arms. You'll feel your triceps and your biceps engage. If you can, sliding those knees apart, use a second mat if you need to. The heels will start to lift off the floor. Make a pillow for your forehead. So drop your forehead down on towards the backs of your wrists or your arms. I'm gonna sit up so that you can see me, but you'll see my toes are just off the floor, but my hips are gently working down. Now, please do not try to ram your toes and your ankles down to the mat. Instead, just take gentle circles, rotating one foot over the other, eight times one way and eight times the other. So you're getting a deep opening across the front of the pelvis into both the right and left hip. And once you've done that, again, hands can come to the floor. You can lift your head up, lower your toes an inch more and take a slight combre. Lower down, stretch those legs out, give them a wobble, give them a shake. And then lower your toes in steps to the floor, press back, squeezing your knees together or taking them as wide as the mat. Just releasing into a child's pose. And let's do that one more time. Rock forward, a little bit different. Come onto all fours, pull your tummy in. Take the body weight forward, toes together, knees apart. And then sliding down gently into this reverse frog position. Make a pillow for your head. This time, see if you can draw your toes a little bit closer towards your crotch. Good. And we're going to just take a gentle windscreen wiper motion this time. So instead of the circles, we're imagining that our shins and windscreen wipers on the back window of your car. And we're going to work internal and external rotation at the same time. One leg turning out externally, one leg taking some internal rotation. So that we really are working into the full mobility of your hip joint, getting that salubial fluid going, keeping our hips healthy. Again, never pushing into pain. So finishing with your toes together, hands to the floor, lower the toes a little bit and a little combre, release down, shake those legs out, heels together, bottom comes back, release, so contracting now into those hip flexors. Walk those fingertips away. And then roll yourselves up. And you should feel by the end of that short sequence that you've got much more range of motion into your hip joints. You're feeling like your turnout is coming a little more easily. And most importantly, it's coming from where it should, the hips. So not the knees and not the ankles. So I hope you enjoy practicing that. Come and find more of our sleek workouts, including flexibility and suppleness improving at sleekballetfitness.com, where Victoria and myself and the sleek team take you through a full range of sleek ballet fitness workouts. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day. Take care.